Hello, it's VTR Dave. Welcome back to the channel and to my first toy fair of 24. I've traveled quite some distance. I don't exactly know where I am in the UK. I'm somewhere in the Southwest, but I am at the Shepton Mallet Fair and I'm looking forward to this one. I haven't yet bought anything this year, so let's see what we can find. Let's see who we can meet. Let's crack on. As usual, I went for the early bird. I do like to get there whilst it's not so busy. I haven't been to Shepton Mallet for about a decade, and I do know that it is quite focused on trains and die cars, so it'll be interesting to see if today is any different. The dealers are still setting up, it's nice and quiet. I am in the southwest of the country where there are a lot of tractors <laughs> and farm animals, as you can see here. But we're not here for that, are we? Let's go toy hunting. Great to meet up with Lawrence again, especially at Shepton Mallet. Ah, his stall. It was full. It was cram packed, in fact. Uh, I had immense fun looking through He Man figures, Action Man, Action Force, Mask, even some Fisher Price Adventure people. But in particular, Lawrence had recently purchased a massive G1 Transformers collection. And I had fun just browsing through all of those Transformers, reminding myself of items I had in the past, but also seeing quite a number of Transformers that I'd never seen before. What an amazing collection. Go check out Lawrence's Facebook page. He's always posting items on there for really good prices too, so highly recommend. So I, I did message him, uh, so I'm hoping. Okay. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. So um, I sort out a deal with him. I couldn't leave Lawrence's stall without picking up a couple of G1 pieces. He did have an amazing collection, and the first is Wheelie. I know <laughs> he's not everyone's favourite Transformer, but I've been looking for him for a while now. Usually they're sort of broken and all loose, but this one's in very nice condition, missing the rub sign. But otherwise, yeah, super happy to finally pick up Wheelie. And I also picked up a couple of mini cassettes. I think these are Frenzy and Rumble, correct me if I'm wrong. And you may have seen my recent restoration of G1 Blaster. And I had fun with that restoration and Soundwave. And when I saw these, which I don't see very often at the Toy Fairs in the UK, I thought I'd pick them up. And they do come with their accessories as well. So I'm super happy with that. But I didn't just stop there at Lawrence's store. He had so much stuff. I also picked up, yes, Centurions, a lovely carded power pack. Really nice, this card, unpunched. Yeah, super happy to find this. And the power pack, well, you can add this to any of your figures and it would automate the rotation of the weapons. 
and automate the firing of them as well. So yeah, nice little addition this. Yeah, and this is gonna look good on display. And if you know me, <laughs> and you may have spotted it in the video, I wasn't gonna walk away <laughs> without picking up this small Rambo storybook. Um, I'm probably not going to read it, but I do love these kinds of things because they add to the display. And as I was skimming through, I spotted the Defender there, the awesome vehicle from the Rambo line. Yeah. It's fine. I think it's an English brand to actually make this. Star Wars Star Wars Toys. Mr. T. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, you, can get, you can get Yoda, Gamorrean Guard. You can also get, um, I think you can get um, Abram Rakbar as well. Oh, Virginia, how awesome would that be? be? Amazing, <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> What's, what's this made of then? Cheap polystyrene. What? It's polystyrene? Yeah. Oh my oh god. Oh my word. So it is super light. Super light. Look at that. But imagine like you. <laughs> I wouldn't trust me touching that. Yeah. You throw it once and it breaks. Yeah. That's so that survived. I wonder what year that is from. Uh, we think it's from 74, 75. Yeah. It was nice. that period where. Um, no, it's the artwork. Yeah, Carlson, called it a TV show yeah. and, um, and it was um, quite popular, but um, of course displays really well with the Action Man, doesn't it? Exactly, yeah, yeah exactly, it goes to your Action Man display. It was great to chat with Joe, in fact that's part of the fun of attending these fairs, meeting up with fellow collectors, and thanks to everyone who came up and said hello. I really do appreciate all your support. I think it's time for VTR's Collector's Sticker Album. I just want to say a special thanks to Toy Poloi. It was great to finally meet up with Dave. We had a walk around the fair and enjoyed a coffee as well, chatting about all sorts of stuff. Fair play to him. He's always being interrupted at these fairs. So I do appreciate being able to meet up. Yeah. It's getting better at this one. I prefer coming to this one, it's just like my local. That's the best as well. That's the only thing I've told. It's always your bargain. <laughs> Ages, every time I found them, wrong socks. Yeah. <laughs> now, here's a line that I never, ever thought I would find at Shepton Mallet. <laughs> it is Computer Force, and in the States it's known as Computer Warriors. Now, I've actually been on the hunt for Computer Force for a while, and in fact I've got a few items coming over from the States, so I was really surprised to see this at Shepton Mallet. In fact, this was the first thing I saw, and I picked it up immediately. It's an amazing Computer Force card in great condition. This is Debug. All the characters in this line are named after computer terminology, and these guys on the cards, they also come with what they call robot planes, and they transform into circuit boards. Everything about this line is obviously computer-oriented, 
and transformer based as well. There's a load of play sets, objects that you would see in a kid's bedroom of the 80s, football, torch, uh, books, and an amazing computer as well. Look at that 80s technology there, CRT. <laughs> and I would look out for this perhaps on the channel in the future, a little sneak peek there of what's coming. And I just love this. I am a computer programmer by trade, and I didn't see this line when I was a kid. I completely missed it. I never heard of it until fairly recently. So this is right up my street. Not only did I get this carded version, but I also got a loose guy as well. This guy is called Async, and he's one of the evil guys. And you can see on the back, all that circuitry there. Really nice design. And this is his robot plane, or whatever it's called, rocket plane. A circuit board. Very, very simple transformation, this. If I just pull off the wings, a little bit stiff. There we go, on that side and that side, and then they just fit in underneath, like so. <laughs> and then I just get async, stick him in there. Oh, his gun needs to turn around. Stick async in there, and there we have it. One of the evil guys on his rocket plane. Alan's store was full of really high quality items and so I picked up these US Forces Defenders of Peace fully posable, commando equipped and came with a free sticker as well what is there not to like? <laughs> these aren't the greatest toys in the world but they are by Remco they were released in the 80s and so yeah I'm a sucker for that kind of thing looks like there are 8 in the series some ninjas a Rambo like figure and what have I got? I've got Marshall Master here, number seven. He's pretty cool. We have Protector number three. And there's that free sticker they're talking about. And we've got Brushfire number two. <laughs> okay, I have time for a little bit more hunting. So let's do one more final lap of the haul. Right, that's it for the day. I've been pleasantly surprised by this fair. I've had fun meeting with fellow collectors and hopefully you've enjoyed the ride. And maybe there are a few items that you spotted and wanted to take home with you. But for now, it's time to head home. Stay safe and cheers. <laughs>